Tonight, a student petition is gaining steam at Cheyenne Mountain High School. Students claim District 12 isn't being transparent enough about the COVID-19 virus, among other claims. The superintendent, though, stands behind strict COVID safety practices and their communication with families. KRDO News Channel 13, Sydney Stell joins us live from Cheyenne Mountain High School tonight. Sydney. I spoke to the Cheyenne Mountain High School students who started that petition today. They told me they don't feel safe at school, but when I talked to the superintendent, he strongly refuted their claims. Students at Cheyenne Mountain High School started a petition to halt in-person learning for a few weeks. They say they don't feel safe at school. People don't care. It's COVID's a joke at my school and no one takes it seriously. I've had teachers complain about COVID and how they don't want to take it seriously. I've been dress coded more than I've seen people get um, in trouble for not wearing their mask. One student claims one day in class, he was sitting several feet from another student who wasn't really wearing his mask. He was drinking water like the whole class every day, so his mask was never fully on. And I didn't know he was sick until two days ago, and he's been gone from school for like two weeks. And the school didn't tell me he was a friend of a friend, which is usually how you find out. They also say their dashboard doesn't give them enough information. It only shows total cases and contact tracing investigations since August. It doesn't show active cases. I spoke to Cheyenne Mountain Superintendent Walt Cooper. He says they don't have the resources to update the dashboard with active cases. He also vigorously refutes their safety concerns, saying there has been almost no in-school spread. He didn't want to comment on camera about the petition, but he told me he's proud of the way they've handled the pandemic and says they're doing everything they can to keep students safe. Now, despite the petition, District 12 Board of Education is meeting tonight. One of the things they're going to discuss is bringing back all students, moving from half to half to full in-person learning. They expect that to happen next month. Live in Colorado Springs, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.